Hello and welcome to Soft Expert. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to create a free website using Wallface and Elementor. And by free, I mean we will be getting a free domain and hosting. Wallface itself is free, and we will be using free version of Elementor and one of its free add-ons. So let's get started. And the first thing is you can just follow the first link in the description, which is InstaWV. I have discussed this in my previous video. I have discussed its features and its pricing. And this is a platform where you can create dummy websites, you can test out your themes and plugins and you can keep up to 3 websites for free and then for the rest of the websites you will need to upgrade to their freemium plan. So as I said we can have 3 websites for free so that is why this video will contain all the free resources. So to get started just click the first link in the description which will take you to this page. Here you can just click on get started which will take you to sign up page and then you can create a free account with this. I have covered this in my previous video as well. Now I am already logged in so this is why it took me to my dashboard and this is what you will see after sign up. So here you will find all your websites, your templates, connects, hosting and was. And by the way I am using their free plan as you can see here. Sales, one of three, this is the disk storage and uh, get operation and so on. So all these things are available for free ok. So I have this one website I will show you from start so let's create a new website. To create a website just click on this button add new. And now here you can choose some popular plugins like for security, SEO, social media, speed and so on if you want to install any plugin ok. If you don't want to install any plugin you can just uncheck these. Then you can go to templates also where you can create your own templates and by the way you can also sell templates on this platform ok which you will find here in the store. Where we also have these free templates ok that we can import and we can customize. Now we will start from scratch to show you everything from scratch. So I'll uncheck both of these plugins. You can see zero themes and zero plugins selected. Now you can make changes to these things as well like the Wordpress version, PHP version, the language and also you can enter your website name here and then just click on create site ok. So once I click on it, within seconds it will give me a ready made installation ok. Your new Wordpress website is ready and these are the login credentials. This is our URL username and the password. So this is just a dim URL ok we can upgrade this later on. Now let's check the website first. So this is the website where we have this 2024 theme and uh, some content and that's it. Now let's see how we can create a proper website with a few clicks ok. Let's go back to the dashboard and now to access the website dashboard like the Wolfis dashboard you can just click on this magic login ok. This will take you directly to the dashboard. Let me just click on it and that's it. Now I am in the dashboard ok. So again we can do changes based on our needs. The first thing is we can just change the website title so that it looks better. For that we can go to settings and here we will change the title. I will just write my channel name here and that's it. And uh, for the tagline I will write something like this. You can write anything you want and that's it. Then scroll down and save changes. So we change our website title and if I go to plugins there is no plugin installed. And under appearance we have this one 2024 theme ok. Now the first thing is we need another theme which is Hello Elementor. That is a official Elementor theme which is very lightweight and fast. So let's click on add new theme. And you will see the theme here. If you don't see it you can just search for Hello Elementor here ok. Let's install it. And we'll activate it. And now let's delete this theme because we only need one theme. So let's click on it. Delete. Ok. And once you activate this theme you will see this notice thanks for installing hello theme and this theme need Elementor. So just click on install Elementor and Elementor installed. Now we can just activate it. And this will take you to Elementor installation page where you can create a free account or you can connect this website with your account. And by the way if you connect your website with Elementor you will be able to use some advanced features of Elementor like Elementor AI, AI image generator and so on. But for now let's skip this because this is just a dummy website ok so I'll close it. Now we have Elementor in its theme, Hello Elementor ok. We need one more thing and that is a free add-on for Elementor which is Royal Elementor add-ons ok. Just follow the second link in the description which will take you to this page and here you can learn more about this plugin. This is free with some advanced features like the header and footer builder, Elementor widgets builder. You can also create loop grid, slider, carousels, pop-offs, poems, sticky headers and so on. You will also get a theme builder in this plugin which I have discussed in my previous video. Where you can create archive pages for your shops, for your WooCommerce, also for the blog pages, header and footer and so on. Here you can scroll down. You can see all the free widgets. And you can scroll down more. You will see WooCommerce widgets. 
and you will also see some ready-made templates that we will be using in this video and so on and so forth now it also have the flow version if you need it but we will use the free version in this video so let's scroll up and just click on download plugin okay once you click on it you will get a file like this okay rail elementor add-ons now we just need to upload this to our workspace okay so let's go to our dashboard and here we will go to plugins add new plugin upload plugin choose file and i'll select that plugin we'll open it and install now let's activate it and if you want to get the updates you can just allow it and then this will take you to its dashboard where you can see all the ready-made templates okay by the way if you want to see the widgets you can go to royal add-ons close it and you will see all the available widgets here okay you can turn off and turn on these based on your needs so all of these are elementor widgets that you can use in elementor page builder okay and by the way we will be discussing form builder in the next video here you will see these like particles like particle on the background particle backgrounds ferrex multiplayer custom css like an elementor flow we get a custom css options you can use that here for free and you can also make a section sticky using this extension then you can go to settings and again you can do settings based on your needs okay and these are related to commerce and then some css and js options and then we have theme builder as i mentioned we can create header and footer using this plugin we can create archive pages single block post pages product archives like the shop page and so on and then we have a free made blocks so these are some blocks that we can import to our elementor and then we can customize okay we will check this later on and then we have pop-up builder and so on for now let's focus on the template kits because we need a template for our website okay so let's click on it and now you can choose any of these templates and then you can import it and then you can customize it okay so some of these are free and some are freemium you can explore all of these and you can pick the one that you need so i'll go through all of these and uh, let's choose this one okay this is free and if you want to check it's free you can just click on it and this is the home page investing page options startup and uh, we have the overview page and so on if you want to check the live review you can just click on preview demo and this will open up the website with all the animations you can see this text and also the menu scroll down you will see this section and so on okay so this is a complete website with these pages and we can also customize it so let's import it and then we will see how we can customize it okay let's close it and to import any template just click on import template kit then click ok and this will start importing the content so let's wait for it and import was successful let's visit the website okay so i'll click on it so this is our website and we get the template with the animations text images icon boxes and so on so you can see within a few seconds we got a complete website now let's see how we can customize this website okay so on the live website you will see this bar once you are logged in okay now if i hover over here you can see i can edit of canvas which is the mobile menu i can edit the header and footer these are the names okay we can just uh, rename them to make things easy okay let's go to the dashboard just to show you okay and if I go to Royal Add-ons and then Theme Builder, here you can see this is our header, but we will just change its name, okay? And by the way, we can edit this header right in the Elementor as well, okay? You can see these are the columns and this is the menu. You can see you can change the menu here. You can click on it. We can upload our own logo here. We can change this button, which is opening in F Converse menu, okay? You can change this and so on. So let's try changing the logo. I'll click on it and we'll click here and we'll upload a new image here. Okay. So you can upload files from here. Okay. I'll use a dummy logo for now. So and we'll select it. And this is not changing because we have to change this one as well. Now we got our new logo here. Same goes for the menu. We will change this in the dashboard later on. But we can make changes to the text. To the colors and so on here in the style so you can see the menu color is white if i changes you can see the color is changing okay and the hover color is green you can change it as well you can change the pointer the horizontal spacing and so on 
this is not the topic in this video i have lots of videos about elementor customization okay so this is how you can edit the header now to change its name we can go to its settings and let's make it header only that's it we will update it and now if i visit this website and we got the same website and we just have changed the logo okay now if i hover over here you can see we have changed the name to header we will also change this to footer and we will be able to edit the footer as well to quickly show you i'll just click on it and we'll edit the footer as well and for the footer we will also change the logo and that's it now you can make changes to these things as well but i'm not going in much detail you can click on it you can change the text and then you can click on these social icons you can add your social links and so on okay and you can click on it and you can write something like okay that's it now let's update it and we'll check our website so now we have changed the header and also the footer that you can see okay now let's see how we can edit the website content like these pages okay so again this is very simple you can just edit any page from here and this is the same as we edit a header and footer okay i'll click on it now this is the advanced text this is also from royal elementary add-ons okay you can see we can change the title here so this change the first text if you want to change this animated text you can go here and you can change it like now you can see tips and tricks world face and elementor okay if you want to change this effect you can change it right here like if i change this to typing you can see this is now typing i can change it to skew like this okay so this will be dependent on you i am just showing you that how we can make changes to the website okay you can change the styling based on your needs same goes for this text i can click on it i can change the text here i can click on the button i can change the button text and also the button link here okay then this is an image so i can click on it i can upload my own image or i can keep it same goes for this image and this text this button and so on and if you want to add additional sections you can just scroll down you will see this icon right elementor add-ons okay just click on it here you can see we can add a full page okay but we need a section only so we will go to section and now we can add any of these sections or we can go to blocks and we can add blocks like first carousel first slider and so on and by the way i have a few other videos about this plugin and which we have discussed in the product grid or slider we have discussed normal sliders first sliders and also testimonial sliders and so on so if you need any of these sections you can just click on that section and then you can import it okay for now let's use this one so i can view this so this is what we will get okay so let's insert it by the way that was a forced element a forced grid we don't have any forced so let's delete it and let's use a normal section okay again i'll go to blocks and i'll choose a category from here and let's say team member and these are free so i'll use this one and just insert it and we got those team members here okay now we can make changes to these based on our website colors as well like i can click on it and i'll go to style and here you can see these are the border colors for the image and so on and here you can see we can go to advanced we can go to background this is the background which is white so i'll change it to black i can pick any color from here like this now you can see we change the background we can change the background for this content as well we can change the border color here and so on which are under style tab okay this is again the background so i'll change it to that color okay like this and let's change the name to white like this okay now we can just copy its style we can paste it here and that's it and in the same way you can make changes to the buttons as well okay so this is how you can add a new section okay now let's say this is completed so we will just update it and let's preview the website now you can see we change these texts and uh, we also added a new section which is this one so this was how you can create a free website using wallface and elementor and then how you can customize it all the resources links are in the description one last thing is we have this dummy url okay find frog and so on if you want to change it and you want to add your custom domain you will need to upgrade to the freemium plan okay 
For that you can go to your dashboard and just click on upgrade. Click upgrade and then you can choose any of these plans okay. These are the pricing and these are the features. So that's it. Now in the next video I will show you how we can create free forms using this free plugin. And then how we can design that form using Elementor okay. So stay tuned for that and that's it for this video. If you have any questions you can ask in the comment section. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.